Jaina, Sylvanas, Arthas, <laughs> and Thrall, <laughs> and of course, so many others. And together, we've jumped through the portal into Outland. We sailed off into Northrend, and we watched Sargeras stab the world with that sword. <laughs> During that time, gaming has changed, and you have changed, and so have we, particularly in the past year. The entire team across both Modern and Classic have embraced their communities. We are truly listening to your voices and taking action. My friends at BlizzCon, now is the perfect time to prepare to close chapters, open new ones, and double down on why we all fell in love with World of Warcraft in the first place. <laughs> Bring back epic storytelling, please. That will be a first. First thing to do. With that in mind, let's get to it. As many of you know, WoW Classic was born out of the community's passion. <laughs> Some announcements for World of Warcraft Classic. And of course, most of you know that still drives us today. Like just in August, inspired by our community, we release Classic Hardcore. <laughs> so, uh, in Hardcore, you only get one life. And if you die, you may laugh, you may cry, you may have to replace a keyboard. Uh, <laughs> But you go again. <laughs> We've loved watching you take on the challenge or die trying. Uh, and because the hardcore community has asked, the team is planning to add a new way to play hardcore early next year. <laughs> and last month in Wrath Classic, we released the Fall of the Lich King patch. We had a great trailer, by the way. And while there's still more to come in Wrath, earlier this year, we looked at your feedback to think about where are we going to go next. <laughs> we read through a lot, and I mean a lot of your feedback, on social media forums, and we sent out surveys to our players. And here at BlizzCon, we're happy to announce Cataclysm is coming! <laughs> well, I mean, it was expected. And it's coming with hashtag changes uh, based on your feedback, just like you'd expect from Classic. So now, let's jump into the Wayback Machine and get a reminder of all things Cataclysm. Okay, so here we go. Oh, we have a trailer? Oh look, Sour Fang so young. Oh, Black Rock. Oh, 
trespass into my domain. Die. This is my realm. The PvP stages. So we knew, I mean, the next expansion for Classic was Cataclysm, so yeah, it was coming. It's exciting, however, to hear so many voices excited for this. Ah, nice transition. <laughs> get ready, my friends, because the I love the passion, by the way. Uh, get ready, my friends, because the, the road to Deathwing's destruction is coming in the first half of next year. All right. It was expected. Now, of over the past four years of Classic, we've watched you master the vanilla experience, and we've loved it. So much, in fact, that we thought we'd add some unique flavor with a seasonal note and a dash of discovery. Season of discovery is vanilla wow <laughs> with a spicy twist. You're going to discover new secrets as you scour the world and find class-altering abilities. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what it might be like to be a tanking warlock? <laughs> what? Or take on the role of a mage healer? In Season of Discovery, you can. <laughs> The season is going to launch with an initial level cap of 25. And when you hit that max level, you'll be met with the brand new level 25 endgame. You'll discover a brand new 10 player Black Fathom Deeps raid with new and reimagined bosses, mechanics, and of course, rewards. Then, after a couple of months, we'll raise the level cap a bit. You'll find even more endgame content. And so it will go. If you're here at BlizzCon, you can play the Black Fathom Deeps raid in the Warcraft Hall. <laughs> That's a huge arena. Where is that? Where are they? So, if you love Classic or are just a little intrigued about what exactly a Warlock King can do, go check it out. <laughs> For all of you watching online, don't worry. You won't have to wait long to play. Because we want you to discover all of the secrets together, there will be no public testing. WoW Classic Season of Discovery launches in a few short weeks on November 30th. So Blizzard is doing everything to entice players For more information on to come back. And that's good. But what we're here for is to see if they're going to announce a new expansion or something for Dragonflight. Right. Now it's time to talk to my dragon riders. There we go. There we go. There we go. Our team remains committed to giving you meaningful game updates about every eight weeks with more content sprinkled in between. We really want Azeroth to feel alive and the home you want to come back to no matter how you play. Our next major update, Guardians of the Dream, is going live in just five days. I want to give a shout out to my elves. It is finally our time. <laughs> That's why I'm bringing my Night Elf Warrior One back. Week later, season three will start with the last raid of the expansion, Amir Drasil, the Dream's Hope. There we will have our final showdown with Farak and defend our new world tree. But fear not, that's not the end of our time in the Dragon Isles. 
There's a lot more to come in Dragonflight that will serve as both the epilogue of this story and the bridge to our next one. There we go. Like I said earlier, we are evolving. We are changing our approach to this big, beautiful game and how we look ahead to new chapters. BlizzCon, it's time for a new adventure. One that has grown from the very seeds of what captured our hearts when we first set foot in Azeroth. I'm afraid. For veteran players, the last 20 years have led us to this. And for those who have yet to join us, now is the time. And who better to talk about the first step in this journey? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Someone who carved the path in the first place. Yes! Everyone, please welcome my friend and the executive creative director of the Warcraft universe, Chris Metzen. Welcome back, my king. There he is. He's back. Woo. Oh, man. There he is. Oh man, there he is. Yeah, standing ovation, man. Standing ovation. What up, BlizzCon? What up, Chris Metzen? Holy smokes. Hard, where are you at? Boo. Alliance. Yeah. BlizzCon as one. Woo. Holy smokes. Thank you. Thank you. It is, uh, thank you guys. It has been a long, strange trip to get back to this spot. I tell you that. My friends are telling me it all about it. It's been interesting this past year, being back under the hood of World of Warcraft. It has reminded me of a few things. One, I love Warcraft. Number two, you know what? I really miss this work. Oh, oh. And number three, we need you on the real. It feels amazing to be back and part of this Blizzard family again. Okay, everything looks good. As Holly said a bit ago, next year is the 20th anniversary of World of Warcraft. I can't even believe it. Whatever. How many of y'all have been playing from the beginning? Not, not me. I started thanks to my friend Tito on November 2009. So given that... What was that? Doesn't matter. We started thinking. So, what next, right? What expansion hook? What single storyline could possibly match such a historic occasion? Oh my shit. We started thinking about, well I did, the good old days, right? And some of those early mythic ideas that kind of established the background of Warcraft. Titans, old gods? Started thinking about even some of the newer ideas that have played out more recently, but still in a way, feel a little unresolved. And in the mix of all that stuff, in the mix of all those ideas, particular things like, what the hell has Magni actually been babbling about all these years? <laughs> Was the thing that he came to warn us about in Battle for Azeroth, did it, did it actually play out? Or is there potentially something darker? Of course there has to be. Looming on the horizon. Of course, all gods. Oh, no. We couldn't have killed them all. Will there eventually be an apocalyptic confrontation between the forces of the light and the void? 
talk to me, BlizzCon. <laughs> I'll tell you what, for nothing, my pally main, I'm all in on that kind of thing if it happens. It's gonna happen. <laughs> and really, the big question for all the marbles, what have the Titans actually been doing since the dawn of civilization? What have they done with Sargeras? Where's Illidan? What is the real purpose of all of their cute little installations slammed into the side of the planet. Do we know everything we need to know about their real intentions for our world? No, they've been hiding stuff. Just saying. <laughs> BlizzCon. All of these hooks and a hundred more. Uh, 68, carry the two. A bunch more. <laughs> all cooking in the pot. started to reveal a storyline. Something epic. How epic? Real epic. <laughs> a storyline that in almost every way <laughs> feels like the culmination of the first 20 years of our storytelling. A storyline provided we we do our jobs, we do the thing <laughs> that will vector us into the next 20 years of adventure. Yes, please. BlizzCon. Are you with me, BlizzCon? Yes! We call this storyline the World Soul Saga. The World Soul Saga is so epic, as we covered. It cannot be contained within any single expansion. Of course. It is built to play out over multiple expansions over the next few years. Come on now. Wow well, is not dying anytime soon, goddammit. Having said that, we are working on multiple ways to deliver this adventure to you a little faster than you're used to. We're not gonna get into it at this BlizzCon, forgive me. But keep your ears peeled, I assure you. We are moving with purpose. And the last thing we really want is for y'all to have to have your grandkids controlling your mouse and your keyboard trying to wrap this thing up. So, <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> also, given the scale of this monster, we have decided to change it up today. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Instead of just debuting your next expansion all on its lonesome, we have decided to give you a glimpse at your next three expansion sets. Holy shit! How is that even possible? Does this meet with your approval, BlizzCon? <laughs> My friends, I'm gonna warn you, there may be mild spoilers ahead. <laughs> Actually, I'm just kidding. They ain't mild. Buckle up. Oh, shit. If you say Are so. Are you ready, BlizzCon? I I'm not. I don't like spoilers, but if you say so, I'll do it. The first part of the World Soul Saga, and your 10th expansion is called World of Warcraft, The War Within. In this chapter, you will be descending into the heart of Azeroth itself, exploring new subterranean kingdoms and engaging with ancient cultures like the Earthen, and the terrifying Nerubians of Ashkahet.
But as the forces of darkness close in around our precious world soul. You, yeah, that's you, <laughs> will be called to do what you always do, which is dispense indiscriminate justice upon all those who got it coming. Talk to me, Blitzkong. Whatever you say, my king. Hail. The second part of the World Soul Saga. Oh, hold it down! Called World of Warcraft Midnight. Slow down, dude! Whoa, this is too much! In this chapter, you will be returning, ready, to the old world. What's the old world? To the fabled lands of Quel'Thalas. There, the forces of the Void have invaded Azeroth, intent on snuffing out the light of the Sunwell and plunging the world into darkness and fear. You will not only help reunify the scattered elven tribes of Azeroth, but you will make your stand with the forces of the light and banish the shadow forever. Of course, BlizzCon, it is Azeroth. Things may not go to plan. Things may just spiral wildly out of control, leading us to the third part of the World Soul Saga. World of Warcraft, the last titan. In this chapter, you will again be returning to the old world, this time to the wintry lands of Northrend. And there, at Ulduar, you will bear witness to the return of the Titans to Azeroth. Oh, shit. And there, you will uncover a vast conspiracy. One that stretches throughout the history of the world. One that will challenge everything you think you know about the Titans, their intentions, and the true nature of Azeroth itself. In time, my friend, in time. <laughs> and it's called Silithus. There you go. <laughs> BlizzCon, my hope, our dear hope, is that you can see when it comes to WoW storytelling, we ain't screwing around. <laughs> Not we are playing for all the marbles. We are working to establish a thundering heartbeat for this franchise. Now. <laughs> now, now, Blizzcon. Hearken to me. <laughs> Always wanted to say that. Thank you. Whether you are a current player, and I'm going to bet that most of you are, or maybe you jumped off the WoW train a few expansions ago, now is the time to come home. Now is the time to pull on your boots, pick up your broadsword or your favorite glowy staff, and get in this fight. <laughs> Friends, Azeroth needs her defenders now more than ever. Now, in a few moments, we are going to give you a deeper look at the war within. But before we do that, I want to leave you with a little something to chew on. I want to remind you all that sometimes very epic things can begin with 
small, heartfelt moments. What you're about to see is one of those moments. And with that, BlizzCon. Proud defenders of Azeroth! Let the World Soul Saga begin! Oh, shit. No way! No way! Anduin! Old Anduin! Oh, sh shit. Is this Vela's vision? Or is this right before, right after Dragonflight? Anduin. Oh, fuck. Don't get to hide. Is that it? You needed time. We stayed away. But time by itself heals nothing. You didn't just come here for me. It's the visions. You've seen them. I suspect many have lately. Something, someone, is calling out from the heart of the world. Like a voice from a dream. <laughs> Something dark is coming, Anduin. The world needs your light again. My son. I am not that person anymore! I have no light. Not after what I've seen. Not after what I've done. You are not your past, Anduin. I trust you. Getting worse. Look, whatever's coming, I'll stand with you. Of course, I will. But we were drawn here by the voice. Who is it, Thrall? Who's calling out to us? I'm not sure yet. But that sword... Oh. ...failed at someone.
that sword aimed at someone, it, it, it must be Azeroth. But I have my doubts. Uh, I guess we're not ignoring that sword anymore. I do have to say, though, uh, every time I see that cinematic, and I've seen it many times, it gets me right in my heart. Uh, it feels like a new beginning, and it feels like coming home. And we are so excited about where we are going. And now that you've seen or heard the overview for the World So Saga, let's talk about the war within. As we all gather and explore beneath the surface, we'll find an ancient Nerubian civilization. They will be led by someone we were first introduced to in Legion. Zalatath, a harbinger of the Void. What? The Void brings destruction and darkness that threatens all light in our world. The last time we saw Zalatath, she promised we would meet again. And it turns out she was right. And while Anduin, Thrall, and others share the same visions emanating from the heart of the world, some are seeing something quite different. Who? Who? Oh, some. My visions are not the same as the others. No radiance. No song. Just the shadow taunting me from below. Whoa. Eyes of the thorn? New talents for all classes? Whoa! Oh! 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 Shit! All mountains will be able to do dragon riding? That's gonna be awesome. The fate of our world rests upon the edge of a knife. There she is. Our battle lies deep within. <laughs> Shout out that. Are you an old god? Yes or no? That's my question. Anduin and Aleria. In yes. the war within, alongside beautiful, unique underground zones, we will have challenging dungeons and raids and some new features too that are built to last. If you like exploring on your own with a couple of friends or family, we have Dells. These are a variety of bite-sized experiences for one to five players that will offer end-game rewards. You may also find in your Delve a familiar character who'd be willing to fight alongside you. And if you're like me and you have an obsession with alts, we have Warbands. <laughs> With this feature, you can treat all of your characters like family and share banks, reputations, trans and more. Wow! Wow, wow, wow. That sounds awesome. We're also introducing a new layer of customization for your class specs with hero talents. You might want to take your character down the path of a dark ranger, let's say, or a far seer, and more. <laughs> also, during your travels underground, you will meet the Earthen Dwarves, and you'll be able to unlock them as our new allied race. I mean, who doesn't love a dwarf? Uh, the facial hair options are spectacular. Uh, <laughs> there's so much more to talk about, so please join the What, what Next panel that's coming up right after the opening ceremony right here. 
What I can tell you, though, is that the call to get into the fight to save our world will ring out when the War Within releases next year. That's so close. So now the expansions are going to last uh, one year at the most. And lastly, I sincerely want to say... Year and a half. We are so excited to begin this new journey with you. And from our hearts to yours, thank you for bringing our world to life. <laughs> and now, with his own note of th thanks, <laughs> Mike Ibarra. Thank you to all the teams who presented today. There really is so much to look forward Whew. over the next two days. And this is only the beginning. I can't wait to walk the halls of all of Anaheim with all of you. It is truly a joy to be here with the Blizzard team and our players. BlizzCon, be great to each other and enjoy the show. Okay, guys. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, wow. I, I, how I wish I would have been there to see my king. My king, Metzen. He's the real king of World of Warcraft. Oh man, what's coming? Look at that. They. They had the balls to talk about the next three expansions, the big spoilers. Of course, we don't have the needy greedy. BlizzCon 2023 would like to thank our partners. I mean, Xbox, so power your um, uh, we already know where we're going. Three expansions in, uh, in the future. Holy, that's the power of Chris Metzen, is it? HTC. Okay, so let's recap quickly. The thing that impacts me the most is that expansions are now going to last way less than before. I mean, now is they're going to be maybe a year and a half, two years tops. I'm guessing uh, the war within the next expansion, it might begin during, you know, in summer of 2024 or November 2024. So. It, it would mean that uh, the current expansion Dragonflight will last at the most two years. It could be. Who knows? Um, but. Oh man, the story. Where are we going? So, I haven't played. I, I, gotta, I gotta be honest, guys. The thing that matters <laughs> to me the most is the story. And. I'm so late at the party here in Dragonflight. Uh, a couple of months ago, I finally finished... Uh, what's this? Is this World of Warcraft related? Whatever you can't do. No. We thank you. Will you save us? This is Diablo 4, I guess. Yes, it is. So, um, I think, I mean, I, I'm so late to the Dragonflight story. Uh, a couple of months ago, I finished the first raid, and I'm, I'm yet to go to the next uh, zone afterwards, which is the uh, Forbidden Zone, or the Forbidden something. Um... And there's an, there, there are two more raids afterwards that I haven't played, so I'm too late at the party. I'm doing my best to catch up. So um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping um, I'll do that as fast as possible so that I can catch up with this story of what's to come. In the meantime, guys, this was so awesome. Uh, seeing the man himself coming back and the stories that are coming is just awesome. Seeing it. And doing again. So here's the thing. Is this World of Warcraft related? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, it isn't. So, um, I, I'm guessing that 
Well, I don't know. I mean, I haven't played the rest of the story of Dragonfly that I've, because I've, uh, I've been too late to the party. But I don't... I don't know. I don't think uh, Anduin has shown himself uh, during this time. I'm, I don't think so. I think during this trailer for the next expansion, this is the first time that we've seen Anduin officially after Shadowlands. So I'm guessing he... Uh, ever since... He, I mean, my question is, ever since he we saw him speak to Sylvanas... Did he leave the Shadowlands, or did he stay there for a, a couple of more months, or weeks, or days? Or did he immediately went back to Azeroth, but is just roaming around, trying to find himself, or whatever? I'm not sure of that answer. Um, I gotta go and play Dragonflight, guys. I gotta go finish the story, bring my alts, and... Uh, Get ready to what's to come. Thank you so much for sharing this live reaction of the BlizzCon opening. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to react to the next things that are going to be shown. But I think the most important thing uh, we already reacted to. The next expansion and the next three expansions. With the trailer for the next one. War Within. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed my live reaction. And see you on Azeroth. May the light embrace us all.